Hello, and welcome to New England Escapades. Today, we took a trip to the Mystic Seaport Museum. Here's what we found out on our adventure. Mystic Seaport Museum was founded in 1929 as the Marine Historical Association. It began attracting a notably larger number of visitors in 1941 when it obtained the Charles W. Morgan, a whaling ship built a century earlier. The vessel is the last wooden whaling ship constructed in the world, and it drew crowds curious to catch a glimpse. This enabled the museum to begin expanding to its current size, which happens to be the largest maritime museum in the United States. Seriously, this place is huge. Mystic Seaport Museum is one of the first living history museums in the United States. A period seaport has been constructed on the premises staffed by history buffs who remain in character. Whether you need to visit the local cooperage or grocery and crockery, you'll find a wealth of information behind every door. On the port itself, you'll find no fewer than four vessels recognized as National Historic Landmarks, one being the Charles W. Morgan itself. We were even able to board one of them. The L.A. Dutton is a fishing schooner constructed in Massachusetts in 1921. She fished primarily out of Massachusetts, but later moved to Newfoundland in the Outer Banks before being converted into a cargo boat. The museum acquired the ship in 1963 and restored it to its original condition. Mystic Seaport Museum has several other vessels that can be boarded, but due to timing, we were only able to board one other, the Joseph Conrad, built in 1882. Named for the 19th century author, the Joseph Conrad is an iron-hulled and fully rigged sailing ship that was used to train sailors in Denmark. After a few years of private ownership, she was sold to the United States for training, and ultimately found her way to the museum in 1947. During our visit, a youth group was staying aboard the ship, which makes a good time to point out that there are several youth programs offered by the museum, both on-site and remotely. We'll link you to their website in the description so you can find out more information. The museum also features a fully functional shipbuilding workshop spread across several buildings. As you pass through, you can learn more about the tools used in shipbuilding and repair both today and in the past. Also impressive is seeing the massive keel of a ship that has been dismantled. It belonged to a ship that was roughly the size of the Charles W. Morgan, so the scale and craftsmanship is incredible. Peppered along the coast, you'll find a number of purpose-built sheds and warehouses. Some, like the Oyster House, were built over the water to allow for easier transfer of product when a boat returned to shore with a haul. Between structures used for preparing incoming lobsters and salmon, and even fish flakes, there's plenty to see. As of our visit, the exhibit inside the Thompson Exhibition Center is A Spectacle of Motion, the grand panorama of a whaling voyage around the world. It features a 1,275 foot long by 8 foot high panoramic painting of a whaler's view as they traveled around the globe. When it debuted in 1848, pieces of the panorama would be shown individually to viewers to increase a sense of motion in a pre-cinematic world. The museum is recreating this by showing the panoramic journey over time, with each individual scene lasting about two weeks. There's a lot to see at Mystic Seaport Museum. Really, we cannot stress this enough. Be sure to allocate a few hours for your visit to see everything. One thing the museum has no scarcity of are dining or beverage options. Between a full sit-down restaurant featuring a new American menu, to places to grab a coffee, to a tavern in the historic downtown area, you won't feel the need to rush to see everything. There are enough amenities on hand to keep the day of exploring and learning fun and engaging. Just don't forget your sunscreen. Mystic Seaport Museum is located at 75 Greenmanville Avenue in Mystic, Connecticut. It's about a two-hour drive from Boston, or a little under three hours from New York, but it's easily a full-day activity. You can also save on your admission by purchasing tickets to the Mystic Aquarium at the same time. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to see more like it. Thank you for watching, and keep on adventuring!